hit area is just to the northwest of San Marcos in Dripping Springs, and that's where we sent, uh, we saw, I should say, so many photos of hail crushing your windshields. KXAN's Brianna Hollis is joining us live there tonight. And Brianna, I know you spoke to someone who was forced to hang there and ride out the storm. Britt, that's right. So it is sunny and calm today, but yesterday hail put this gaping hole in Lisa Walling's car and she says she was actually driving when the storm hit. Intimidating, frightening, and out of control. Lisa Walling may have a big mess to clean up, but she's grateful she safely got her car back to the driveway Thursday. We were just on our way home, driving home, trying to beat the storm, and all of a sudden you just start getting pounded with baby pings and then it turns into like softballs coming through the sky. Once it got to that point, Walling said she pulled over, giving her car partial cover under a tree. Never a situation you want to be in when you're driving, for sure. Some now that the storm has passed, like she walked us through the damage. But they are just totally <laughs> just nailed. And I think that was the first one. So you can see the size of it. And just all your average dings from the hill. The last but not least, the back windshield. All the shards and all the broken pieces. It seems like every time I open a door, there's more and more. Everyone is okay. All of my friends are okay. Everyone made it home safe. Our cars are all beat up, but better the car than us. And Walling says plenty of her neighbors also saw similar damage. Just like this, here's another vantage point of the hole in the windshield here, and she says body shops are already starting to back up. Right back to you.